happening, man? Your sights. I'm back with some more wild world news. Listen to this shit right here. So, <laughs> this man is deserving of a good old, old-fashioned Alabama beatdown. This is what it says. A Florida man was arrested after deputies say he refused to move his car so a helicopter could land and transport a victim to the hospital after a serious car accident. Authorities in Central Florida's uh, Volusia County say 26-year-old Tessa George lost control of her vehicle Thursday and struck a tree. Deputies called for a helicopter to airlift George to the hospital and blocked off traffic for the landing. But deputies say James Allen a 52-year-old physician's assistant refused to move his car. <clears throat> Tell me what y'all would have did if you were the deputy that had to ask him to, to move his car and he wouldn't. I'm telling you what I would have did. I'd have yanked him out of his fucking car through the window and threw him on the ground. That's what I would have did. I'd have did it and I would have moved the car for him. We'd have to see each other in court later, okay? Woman was in a serious accident. She could lose her life, and you refuse to move your fucking car? The rest of the article says the Daytona Beach News Journal reports Allen was charged with failure to obey police and fire department orders and resisting an officer without violence. He was released on his own recognizance Friday from a county jail. Allen could not be reached for comment. Of course not, because the whole country of the United States of America will hate you. But now we know what you look like anyway. You're a piece of shit, whoever you are. I can't believe you. Well, you know, maybe I got it wrong. I'm just reporting what the media told me. Maybe... There's some other story behind why this man wouldn't move his car so that woman could be transported by helicopter to the hospital so she would not fucking die. But, Magnusites, if everything that is reported in the story, news story, is true, tell me what you would have done if you were the deputy that had to ask him to move and then he said no. See, well, actually, after he said no, I would have been like, Excuse me? We need you to move your car because we need to transport this woman to the hospital. We need to airlift her so the helicopter can land. We need this space. We need to save this woman's life. He said no again. I'd be like, <laughs> I'd have yanked him right out the fucking car window. Piece of shit. All right, let me know what y'all think. One million subscribers. Woo!